Hey y'all, Freshermet here from IBM Engineering. Today, I'm going to show you all how to import a Word document into Doors Next. We're currently on the project dashboard for our project, and what we need to do is click on Artifacts in the top left hand corner. This will bring us to the Artifacts screen, and what I'm going to want to do is create a new folder where I will import the requirements into. To create a new folder, I will mouse over one of the existing folders that are available when you create a project and click on the button that appears to, to the right of the folder name. I'll then click on create folder and since the requirements that I'm importing will be the statement of work, I'll put in the, in the acronym for that and that is SOW. I'll then click on OK. Now to import the Word document, I'll go back up to create and click on import artifact. I will then select the top option from the menu that appears, and that is import requirements from within a text document. I'll then click on next, and we will browse and navigate to where the file is by clicking on add file and clicking on statement of work. Next, click on open. To show you all what the file looks like, I'll just come right up here to Google Drive, and we can just scroll through the file. Here we have a bunch of text, we have some bullets, we have an image, and we have a bunch of requirements right here. Finally, getting down to the bottom of the document, we can see that we have some tables. And one thing that I want to call out here is these characters that are encompassing the entire table. And I'll get to that in just a second. Going back into Doors Next, let's click on that we want to import the requirements and create a module. If no is checked here, make sure you click on yes if you want to import these requirements inside of a new module. If y'all aren't sure what a module is, I'll link the video right here for y'all to check that out. Now, we're going to put the name for the module as SOW for Statement of Works, and the artifact type for this new module is going to be module. If y'all want to change the artifact type, all you need to do is click on the drop down menu and select one of the following options. We'll hit next here, and we'll be brought over to this next screen where we can do some filtering. We're going to want to leave headings as heading because that's how I have the Word document set up. If you all are wondering how to set up the Word document for import, I'll link that video right here. Then underneath images, we're going to expand the menu and click on more. We're going to click on freeform diagram and underneath keywords, here is what we're going to want to add the keywords to be able to identify the requirements. Click on add keyword and I'm going to put in the word shall here. We're going to leave that match type as a sentence and underneath artifact type to create. We're going to click on system requirement since we are importing system requirements. Another keyword that I want to add is the word must. And again, I'm going to classify that as a system requirement. And same thing with the word will as a system requirement. I need text delimiters. What I called out earlier with those characters around the tables, what I want to do is click on add delimiter. We want to begin with that character and with this character. And the artifact type that we are going to select is a system requirement. For all other text, we're not going to care about anything else that's inside there, so we're just going to do none exclude requirement. So we will only be importing the important information that we need to see inside of doors next. Then we'll click on next. It'll take one second to extract everything and it gives you a little nice report right here. Finally, we'll click on finish. It'll take just one second and we can hit close once it finishes. Now we have our statement of work module and to appear inside of it, all we need to do is click on SOW. This is a filtered version of what we uploaded. Here we can see the charts, the tables, and we can also see the image with a bunch of the requirement text. Thank you all for watching. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me on LinkedIn. You can find me at, at Brett Charmette.